Hi there. Now, for this, we're asked to use the definitions of the hyperbolic functions in terms of exponentials to find the values of x for which, number one, shine x equals 10.017, and in question two, than x equals 0 0.8, giving you answers to two significant figures. And you could check your answers using an inverse hyperbolic function on your calculator. So if you'd like to have a go at these, just give you a moment to pause the video. And when you come back, I'll run through the work solutions, or you might want to fast forward. OK, welcome back then, if you had a go. So for the first one, if we have to solve shine of x equals 10.017, then to do this, you're just using exponentials. What we do is we write down what shine of x is in exponentials. And by definition, it's e to the power x minus e to the power minus x, all divided by 2. And this will equal then 10.017. Next, I'd want to multiply by 2 to get rid of the fraction there. So for multiply by 2, we therefore have e to the power x minus e to the power minus x equals 20.034. Now e to the power minus x is 1 over e to the x, and what I'd want to do is to remove that e to the x by multiplying throughout by e to the power x. So we'd get e to the power x times another e to the power x, which is e to the power x all squared. It's better to write it like this rather than e to the power 2x. And then for this term, this is just going to be minus 1. And then we're going to have 20.034 e to the power x. And what we've got here is a quadratic equation in e to the power x. So I'm going to rearrange it. We'll have e to the power x squared. I'll subtract this term from both sides. So we now have minus 20.034 e to the power x and then minus 1, and that equals 0. Now, at this point, we need to use the quadratic equation formula for doing something like this, where a is 1, b is minus 20.034, and c is minus 1. So that's going to give us the value of e to the x. e to the x equals minus b, so that's going to be 20. 0.034 plus or minus the square root then of b squared so that's going to be minus 20.034 all squared minus 4 times a which is 1 times c which is minus 1 and just square root all of that this is all divided by 2 times a 2 times 1 just 2 so if we work this out on the calculator, you find that e to the x comes out to be, if we take the positive option, 20.083 and so on. And if you take the negative option, e to the power x comes out as minus 0.049 and so on. Now, e to the x cannot be a negative value. It's undefined. So if I just write up here that since e to the power x is always a value greater than 0, it follows from this that e to the power x then must equal 20.083 and so on. So if we take natural logs to both sides here, we end up with x equaling the natural log then of 20. 0.083 and so on. Working this out, you end up with 2.999 and so on. So therefore, if we round this then to two significant figures, x is going to be equal to 3.0 to two significant figures, 2SF for short. 
Now for the next question, we've got then that tan of x equals 0.8. And if we're to express tan of x in exponential functions, we should be familiar with the fact that it's the result of dividing shine x by cosh x. In an earlier tutorial, I showed you that that was e to the power x minus e to the power minus x all over e to the power x plus e to the power minus x. And this will equal 0.8. So with this one, what I'd want to do is get rid of this fraction here, multiply both sides by e to the power x plus e to the power minus x. So therefore what we're going to have is e to the power x minus e to the power minus x equals 0.8 times both these two terms. So that's going to give us e to the x, 0.8 e to the x there, and then plus 0.8 e to the power minus x. Now what I can do next is subtract 0.8 e to the x from both sides. So e to the x minus 0.8 e to the x is going to be 0.2 e to the power x. And if I add e to the power minus x to both sides, then I'm going to get 0.8 e to the minus x plus another e to the minus x as being 1.8 e to the power minus x. If I now multiply both sides by e to the power x and divide by 0.2, I'm going to end up with e to the power x all squared equals 1.8 divided by 0.2, which is 9. And if I square root this, I know that e to the power x must be equal to square root of 9, which would normally be plus or minus 3. But I have to take the positive value because e to the power x always has to be greater than 0. And if I now take the logs natural logs to both sides, I end up with x equaling the natural log of 3, which turns out to be 1.09 and so on. And rounded to two significant figures, this is going to be 1.1 to two significant figures. Okay, so that's the way then that we can work these out, just using exponentials. Do check your answers by using the inverse hyperbolic function on your calculator if you have that. So for this one, remember, x will be the inverse shine of 10.017. And for this one, x will be the inverse than of 0 0.8.